Hello everyone, and this is Simulacrum, and welcome back to Lemmings to the Tribes. I have a bit of a stuffed nose today, so you have to excuse me if I'm snibbling all the time <coughs> and coughing. Anyway, today we are going to be finishing up the Medieval Tribe with two last levels that are uh, pretty easy. We'll see what I mean. The easiest thus far. Uh, here we are, Lemming in Distress, which is the ninth level. We have jumpers, ballooners, runners, spearers, ropers, all the good stuff. Let's check it out. We have eight minutes, um, plenty of time to finish this level. So we are, we are on a kind of a ledge here, uh, in the middle of the map. We have to go this time backwards to the left to reach our destination. Uh, there's other stuff over here. But we won't be bothering with those things. What we need to do here is select our lone attractor. Oh, wait a minute. And wait for the third lemming. Something like this. Uh, to stop them. Next we use a jumper on the first lemming. Uh, then we go ahead and select... Um, okay, then we go ahead and restart the level. Because he didn't uh, take upon himself to do what I told him. Oh well. Let's try that again. Like this. Okay, there you are. Let's use an archer. One is not sufficient. Okay, like this. I think it's enough. They should be dropping onto the ledge here. Next we go ahead. And select the roper. To turn them around in this small area. We don't want anyone going into the water. And our final obstacle is here, the Dragon Mound, so-called. Let's wait a minute before we, uh, somewhere in the middle, we start building. Because, uh, because as you know, the trigger is somewhere ahead of the Dragon Mound. And we need to build above that. Let's see if we went far enough. Oh, that's interesting. So we actually triggered the dragon, but we still avoid it. That's cool. Let's just release the, these dudes. Okay, they, that was enough with the two arrows. And they are turning here. And they should be able to avoid the dragon. Let's see. They are as good as the other one. I preceded them. I have no idea because they are coming in big clunks. Okay, that's not good enough. Uh, if they would have been coming in uh, uh, one by one, they would have managed. Oh well, but it's uh, some of the last levels already, so I have no problem with doing this again. Because the strategy is sound. Okay, like this. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's just wait a bit longer before we start building the bridge. Or the steps. Somewhere around... Maybe here. Should be enough so that it won't trigger. Let's already go ahead and... Free these guys. Let's see if that goes well. Yeah, the dark dragon didn't trigger. He didn't awaken from his slumber to slaughter our poor lemmings. And now everything should be fine. One of the easiest ninth levels in the game. Thus far it is. Plenty of time, pl plenty of everything. That's the thing with Lemmings 2. It's much easier than Oh No More Lemmings, and in some manner easier than the first Lemmings game. At least um, when I check out these first levels. And the, those, the ones that I had played. For Tribe and all that. Okay, so we said 6 Lemmings. It's good. It's awesome. Now we'll go to the next level, which is the last level of the Medieval Tribe. Whew! Just jousting around. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. We have a pole bolter, but I don't know how to use it. Maybe you guys do. I, I am thinking maybe it's a way to get up here. Yeah, but let's check out the level first, before I start analyzing more. Um, here's a trap, or not a trap, but here's this small hole, or a, quite a big hole, with a dragon den. And it's a rather vertical level as well. We have large spaces over here. And we have a catapult, which is uh, rather nasty in its own right. 
but and the castle. And um, immediately when we look at this, yeah, there's only one way we can get down here. One bomber has to be placed here. So let's proceed. Let's not give any special abilities to anyone in the beginning. There are a few things you have to do right in here, uh, which have to be done correctly, otherwise you'll lose. But otherwise this is uh, quite an easy final level. And if you wonder why we poured the glue, it's just to inactivate the dragon's den, or dragon den, whatever, trap. Now we fast forward, because what we have to do here is get a lone lemming to the other side, and to do that we have to use the roper. At least that's how I have done it, and um, and yeah, we don't want any other lemmings in the way. Okay, that's good enough. There's the final lemming coming. Do this. I fire the rope there. I oh, failed. It's not good enough. That's one of the things that can go wrong in this one. Let's just fast forward so we get to the same spot as soon as possible. It's simple, once again, simple um, simple logic, but um, you have to be very precise in your execution of the, of the, of the thing. Da da da, just waiting for the lemmings, come on. Around um, 5.30 I think, should be the final lemming. Yeah, there he's coming. Let's see here, we have to be close enough anyway to... Oh, and now I missed. Yep. I'll just be silent here until we get through this this part. Come on, dudes. Here we go again. Maybe I should start it a bit earlier, like here. Okay, this should be good. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna use a floater. It's not a parachuter, but a floater, like in the original Lemmings. I'm gonna see him float down. And this is another precise moment here. We have to do this. We have to use a ballooner. To, to get him on this side, because otherwise he will never turn to the left. And next, we're gonna use loop or to get something past this water hole right here. Ah, uh, like this. And now we can already use a bomber here, I think. Somewhere here. Yeah, that's good, we made a hole. And now we have the catapult to deal with. And usually that's only uh, something you have to do with the final dudes. Um, and this is one of the moments where you have very little control. At least I don't know what to do here. I can move it, but then they just fly further. And it will keep on pounding them. Until there's only one remaining. I think I will make him a runner. As you will see here, he will just keep going on to the catapult. Which is why we have to... Uh, why, why we have to build right here. If we would have a jumper it would be very simple. Then the guy would just, we would just jump him. And now we are a bit of, um, you know... Okay, he went to the right side. Which is exactly what I wanted him to do. And he went into the exit, and that's 60 out of 60 lemmings. And that's the final level completed of the Medieval Tribe. The easiest tribe thus far. And here we see, award me once again for the fourth time. And here we can see our dudes, the beach lemmings, all the other dudes, the Egyptians. And we've got our fourth piece of the puzzle. Seems to be a compass of some sort. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> Let's see here. And we are back on the map. Which is cool. We have four pieces. Beach, outdoor completed, Egyptian completed, and medieval completed. And if we follow the same logic, um, same counterclockwise system, we go to classic lemmings next. I think I will click on it first here. 
and this should be very very familiar to all of you who have played Lenny, especially the tile set and the texture work in, on this first level and the music also in a, in a way and then well, you also see the tasks here, we have 20 of everything um, it's a very easy level, the first one at least, but Classic Lemmings is not necessarily the easiest tribe, so has to be some challenge. But that's something we'll be checking out in the next episode when we go ahead and start the Classic Tribes. See you guys then.